What's going on YouTube? It's Don Jizzle, aka Online, aka Fifth Scale RC Insanity. All right, so I got this Lenore built up to where I want it so far. Um, put the um, the clutch bell, uh, I mean this pinion gear on here, and a clutch bell cover on here. This is from FID Racing. I think it's twenty and eighteen. I don't know what the spur ratio is on here, but it comes with the two speed. Put the outer wears on, the outer wears, and the uh, aluminum pull handle. Put the killer B switch in. Put the uh, the high velocity stack um, muffler on with the uh, O'Neill Brothers outer wear. <coughs> it's on there. And then I also I broke this engine down a little bit. And I put a net. I don't know if you can see that, I put a net in there in a the flywheel. So I took the whole flywheel off and then I had some screen and I put a net in there to prevent rocks from getting in the flywheel. Also, had a couple issues. Like I said, King Motors got shitty ass screws. So I had to kind of drill this screw out right here. You know, I got screws coming, so I'm just, this screw here uh, stripped. Put the, um, got the carbon fiber brakes in, got the carbon fiber brakes in, got the uh, killer B switch and all that assembly hooked up there with a glitch buster in there. This is a six channel, um, a six channel uh, receiver. I got this on that and my red, red cat. If you buy two of these and you try to link them up to your controller, it's just going to link one. You can't have them on two separate cars because they're the same number. <clears throat> on this uh, body here, I don't know if you watch short course racing, but if you ever watch the short course trucks, they got a fan on the back. So I broke this computer down. I had an old computer. I broke it down, took the fan out, and I put this fan on the back here that I'm trying to... Uh, I'm gonna rig it up some kind of way where it works. Fan works, I already tested with a battery. So, that's where I'm at, still waiting. King Motor, they didn't, um, they didn't uh, reply after I said what I needed. Haven't heard anything back from them. They replied the first time, and that was it. Um, I don't, you know. So, I just went ahead and ordered what I needed. If not, I'll just, I got I got some balloons here. I got some 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 dollar store balloons, and I'll I'll make a way to put them shock boots. I'll make a I'll make some sort of way to put shock boots on these, and just you know you know rebuild these a little bit better. And the best the best that it is. Oh yeah, I also put a, a skid plate on there. And there's another strip screw down there that I need to deal with. So it's coming along. This is the things that you do when you're wrenching and you're doing a custom build. You gotta deal with issues. You think it's just gonna go smoothly. This muffler I've been looking at, I took the muffler off here. And this muffler, I don't know about these wells on this muffler. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if they got holes in them. It's just, it's just, it's just welded. Like you know, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice pipe. You know what I'm saying, in theory, in theory, we'll see how it works. In theory, it's nice. Um, they could have, they could have, you know, put some more weld here. You know, this put the high production, just putting these shits out. So, oh yeah, and these bead locks on these tires. If you get any truck, any car, any truck you get. You want to check your bead lock. Some of these were loose on all of them, both sides. They're not warped. Usually these plastic get warped and not warped, um, but they, some of them were loose. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, engines, oh yeah, and another thing. This top, this, 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 this uh, uh, spark, pl spark plug cover, 
or you know this this ignition whatever they had a spring in there i had a hell of a time getting this shit off it was like bending the spring i don't know why they would use a spring and it sits so tight on there that when you pull it off it like it stretches the screen uh screen uh spring out so i think that was i, I don't know that that I, I don't like that i like just a regular cap that you just snap on and and I ain't even gonna try to pull this off, but I'm gonna have to pull it off eventually. I might have to just change this whole thing out because I don't like this spring loaded type shit that doesn't work. And if it's spring loaded, it should have some sort of release where you can press it and plug it out, not just a spring where you gotta be ram, 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 trying to get the shit off and it's fucking it all up. So that's where I'm at right now. Iron Lion, Fifth Scale Insanity. Signing out.